it's time for another garden update. One of the things I've been putting off is trimming back those zinnias. I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. Uh, we were 104 degrees yesterday, which is about 40 degrees Celsius. So it's pretty toasty here and the humidity was high, so it's been hard to find a good time to do anything in the garden. You can finally see the flowers in the toilet back there against the fence a little bit. I removed a few things back there and pulled back the pumpkin vines and I see it's already trying to climb over it again. But the pumpkins, some of those might be ready to harvest soon. I haven't really checked lately. And you can see that I pulled back the sweet potato vines and the pumpkins from the hollow logs with the petunias and and they look terrible, uh, but that's just due to my neglect. I haven't fed them probably in a month or so. And what I'm gonna do is trim those way back. And so a lot of times that'll kind of rejuvenate them. And I think we'll get some more good flowering out of them. As you can see, the sweet potato vines are going crazy. And speaking of sweet potatoes, I have some in this uh, plastic tub over here. I think I'm going to harvest those uh, early next week. We still have a few tomatoes on, but I have pulled some tomato plants. I keep having to pull these sweet potato vines back because they want to climb over the straw bales. You can see that I'm a little behind on some of the pepper harvesting. I've got a lot of peppers to harvest. And speaking of peppers, I picked a lot of Otis already and they just keep pumping out the peppers. Doing really well. There's that one there that turns orange. It's got a long name that I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce. And I noticed that the albino bullnose, since I pulled all of those off, starting to set some now and the blooms up to the top are just in big clusters so I'm thinking that'll have a lot of peppers on it very soon and I'm gonna feed this petunia in the hollow log soon and trim it back also even though it's doing better than the others and that cucumber well actually it's four cucumber plants in one cage. It's really produced like crazy and I haven't picked in a few days. I'm sure there's some back in there I need to pick right now. The pole beans that I planted next to this tomato cage are starting to grow pretty well, especially considering the weather we've had lately. And it's gonna cool off tomorrow and we're supposed to be getting some rain so that should help these really take off, I'm thinking. Back there where I removed the corn, I planted a few things. So I'll go back there and see if we have anything uh, coming up yet and tell you uh, a few of the things that I planted. I didn't remove the bottom of the corn stalks uh, because when you first cut them down, it feels like they're set in concrete. So I'm just gonna leave those for a while and I went ahead and planted stuff. What I did is I made a trench next to the corn stalks and I added some 12-12-12 uh, fertilizer in a trench and then I covered that up. And then I planted on top of it. And I see that I have some Swiss chard coming up a little bit. I think that's the only thing we have coming up yet. It's been, I think less than a week. So um, after the rain, things should start popping up anyway. Oh, I see over here I have some more coming up pretty thick. And I can't remember exactly where I planted things, but I planted uh, Swiss chard, uh, some lettuce, some cilantro, uh, some beets, and some spinach. But uh, the cool thing about cilantro, I think I planted it over here. The cool thing about that is it's very cold hardy. So some of that should make it through a, 
a good part of the winter, if not all the way through the winter. I've had some make it all the way through the winter before. And speaking of fall gardens, <laughs> over here next to the sunflowers, have a little, couple little okra plants that came up by themselves. And it looks like they might actually produce something before frost gets them. And this is uh, one of the big sunflowers that had got so heavy it finally just broke. While I'm here, next to the sunflowers, I got one right over my head. Here's a look at it. And I'm thinking it it's probably about ready to harvest. Got another one over here. Almost can't reach it, but it's probably pretty close too, so I'm gonna have to be thinking about doing that this week. Then the glass gym corn. It's it's dried out and it was several weeks later than the hybrid corn, so it didn't get uh, pollinated very well. As you can see, on some ears we got almost no pollination at all, but we did end up with one good full ear, so I think that'll be a good enough sampling to see that if this cross was worthwhile. I'm over here next to the cucumber, so I might as well show you. Inside here, they're still cucumbers. And I also have some smaller plants that are just starting to get going. Here's some cucumber plants that are just starting to get going good. I'm hoping we'll get some of those before the season is over. And I've got so much weeding to do. There aren't a huge number of weeds, but some of these weeds I've uh, let go for weeks, like that one right there. I'll just pull it up while we're here. I'm going to sweep by some of these peppers real quick. This is a Zavery. It's starting to get some color on it. Trinidad perfume. I let a friend of mine taste that the other day and he said it had some smoky taste. It's the first thing he noticed. Got the Brazilian starfish, whole bunch of those. And then the ahi peppers, pineapple, mango, and lemon. They're just all just covered. There are literally hundreds of peppers in that group of three plants. And the sugar rush peach is still loaded. I gave one of those away, the first one that was ripe, and it looks like I'm getting some color down there, so maybe we'll get to try those soon. White Thai pepper is just covered with peppers. A lot of them are hidden, hidden by foliage, but lots of peppers. This is another grasshopper. They're, it seems like they're everywhere. It looks like it's eating pepper blooms. They're just a big nuisance this year. This is the habanada. Nothing right there yet. Right next to it over here are the ginger plants. They're getting huge. I don't know what kind of a crop we'll get, but getting very large. I'm gonna be pulling these carrots that are going to seed out very soon, I think. I don't need any more carrot seeds starting to look kind of junky over here. I was over next to the Dwarf Jade Beauty and found this tomato that was ready. And a Serendipity that was ready. Actually, there's probably several I could pick today and I probably will. I have to show you these wicked looking Trinidad Scorpions. Are those hot looking or what? This is a peek back at the ugly jungle behind the shed. I planted this stuff over here so I wouldn't have to mow. And uh, I don't have to mow anymore, but it's 
got sweet potatoes keeping the weeds down at the bottom and then I have a few tomato plants and peppers but I noticed if you look up at the top of this plant there aren't any leaves and it's pretty obvious what's doing that that damage and I saw him very fairly quickly tomato hornworm hate them little suckers even though I do like what they turn into I don't know about you guys but I just don't get much done in the garden when the temperature gets over 100 degrees I'll run by these peppers in the containers real quick there's that little uh, yellow bean pepper it doesn't even have a bloom on it yet I'm not sure what's up with that it's supposed to taste real good but haven't got a chance to try one yet that's a midnight fire conga New Mex Easter Medusa the purple flash is really getting a lot of peppers on it lately really starting to show up it's just a great little ornamental pepper and I've really neglected the sweet potato vines I'm gonna probably be doing some harvesting of sweet potatoes soon not sure how soon but uh, in the next week or two for sure probably and this first one is uh, red garnet it's hard to see the grow bag but uh, hopefully we'll get some kind of a harvest out of that and then we have a mixed bag over here with four different kinds I don't know how that'll turn out but it's going to be interesting to see there's that uh, ornamental corn it's not doing all that great but we'll get a few ears out of it I think and down here we have the poinsettia it's finally starting to get peppers on it it's really late really tall hot pops purple it's done great all summer this is the explosive ember it's finally starting to get some pretty good color on it and this one I planted uh, three seeds in this pot actually three seedlings and two of them turned out to be true to type they're black pearls and the other one is some sort of a hybrid and it's a lot taller foliage isn't as dark and the peppers are a lot larger which which makes it kind of interesting to look at I think don't know I might save seeds from that we'll see and the banana tree still doing great getting taller all the time it's still got a ways to go before it stops growing we're still getting plenty of the Rosita eggplants and we're still getting lots of insect damage on them just been a bad year for the grasshoppers and we've gotten a decent number of the the toyos also and the ping tongues thought I'd show you a few plants that I haven't even talked about this season I have a few tomatoes growing over here on the side yard so we can have some late tomatoes and they've got a, a decent number of tomatoes on then I have a couple plants over by the shed let's go look at those we've got a few tomatoes on that plant back there let's go back there and peek around the corner and see what's there we have more sweet potatoes back here holding the weeds at bay and we have a tomato that I planted very late it's called uh, painted lady and it has variegated foliage but it's almost unnoticeable later on it shows up pretty well early but I don't see any variegation in the top part and the bottom parts kind of crappy looking I don't see any down there either but it's finally getting a few tomatoes on it, it was I'm, I'm a sucker for anything that's kind of unusual so I thought I'd give it a try I'm not that impressed with it so I probably won't grow, grow it again somehow 
a seed from our okra that we grew a while back got over here in the side yard and we've got okra growing volunteer then over here next to the okra I also have some yakon then speaking of yakon we have some that's probably getting close to chest high over there by the fence and I like it fresh uh, I haven't have found a good way to store it so what I'm going to try to do is dig up a tuber without digging up the whole plant hopefully I get that done I'm, I've been wanting to try that for a while so I thought I'd give it a try our little variegated Rose of Sharon finally has a flower on it and it should have a whole bunch more very soon got tons of buds on it well my battery is about to die so I'm gonna have to go hopefully I'll do it